Hi there, and welcome to my transition vlog. Now, I haven't done one of these for a while because, well, basically there hasn't been much happening. You know, I've been happily uh, transitioning, you know, my gender transition for the last, well, just over three years. Um, so, yeah, nothing much has been happening. But I'll just quickly run through um, a typical tra uh, transgender transition. Um, basically, there's three different main sections and lots of different subsections within it, and not everybody goes through every every part of it. Um, but the, there's basically the first section is social transition, so that's changing your name by deed poll and on all your official documents, and then and what, changing your appearance, wearing the clothes that that's mo most appropriate to your gender and your your hairstyle and makeup and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that that's that's the social transition, and, and certainly in terms of social transition, I did that well over three years ago, and and um, I've been very well accepted, um, no problem at all. It's that's that's all that's all great. That's fine. So that that's a tick in the box. Um, then there's hormonal transition, and again, I did did all that well over three years ago, uh, only because I paid for it. If I was um, waiting for the NHS, I'd still be waiting now. Um, but um, but because I, I was able to afford to pay privately, I went to a private clinic, and so I've been on hormones and blockers. So it's cross-sex hormones, so I'm on estrogen, and then the blockers, they basically, it's a drug that blocks the testosterone. So, um, and then the effects of that has all been very welcome. So that that's fine. So that that's that's another tick in the box. And then the, the last section is surgical transition. And uh, it's not right for everybody, so not all trans people go through that because the whole purpose of uh, of transition is to alleviate the distress caused by gender dysphoria. And then often trans people find that once they've gone through the first two sections or even the first section or whatever they want to do or various different bits within each section, they find that that's enough for them and it's enough to, to alleviate the, the distress caused by gender dysphoria. And so they don't put themselves through uh, the surgical transition and um, that's fine. Yeah, they're, they're just as valid as the, as the people who do. Uh, so it's not right for everybody. Um, but anyway, um, basically th th that's going to be my next step. So, um, I'm, I, I've, there was a really big build up to my first appointment with the NHS gender clinic, uh, after my GP referred me to them, it actually took me three years, two months to get my first appointment. And that was just a video chat with the nurse. <laughs> and that was it. Um, it was she was very lovely and i i entertained her for an hour it was just like doing a gig really <laughs> um cause i do it all the time um but it was fine it was fine it all went really well um but nothing really happened and then i had another wait until finally now uh, i've got my second appointment and this is with the doctor so i don't know what's going to happen today so so basically I've, I've come here now i'm actually outside the gender clinic now um i'm, I'm actually out and about i'm out out <laughs> Um, so I'm just about to go in, uh, so I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know, but anyway, I'm going to report back and let you know. Well, here we are, back in my car again, this is two hours later, it was um, a long appointment, so two hour appointment, um, very nice doctor I was talking to, but basically just went through my past history and everything, just basically the same stuff that I've done, gone through um, four months ago with the nurse and then three and a half years ago with the private gender clinic so it's all sort of going over it yet again so it's just like doing a gig again <laughs> but it was fine all went really well and he took some other medical history stuff as well um, but apparently he said that the purpose of today was to decide whether they would actually treat me or not thankfully he's decided yes I do meet the criteria and they will treat me so now the treatment officially starts with the NHS However, it doesn't start straight away, <laughs> as you would expect. So, I've written down the sort of timeline of what, what to expect. So, after my next, next set of blood um, tests results, I've got to send those to him for assessment. But they, he won't uh, start prescribing my, uh, my hormones straight away. So, I've, I've still got to carry on with my, uh, the private gender clinic for now. Uh, but he, it was only after six months after that will he then do that wouldn't you know, recommend you know, to, to 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 take over the hormones don't know why the six months delay i don't know 
Uh, and then eight months after that, um, oh, also yeah, they had also put a recommendation through for to, um, getting some voice coaching from uh, on the NHS and also some uh, more permanent hair removal as well. So that's good. Um, but then eight months after that, then they start talking about surgery. Um, but then that's just then I've got to get I've got to get two um opinions for that so the, the first one and then i've got to then got to get a second one and then there's a waiting list for surgery um he reckons that it's i'd be done and dusted in about three years from now <laughs> so we're looking at yeah um august um t uh, 2024 <laughs> it's been a long process considering all this, this started in january 2018 it's a really, really long process. Um, but there you go. That's what it is. So I'm in the system. Things are going to happen. They just happen very slowly. But anyway, at least, uh, yeah, at, le at least it is happening. So, so that's it. So, um, I don't know what I was expecting today. I was hoping, I was hoping they were going to take over, they were going to take over prescribing my hormones at least, because then at least I, I could stop paying um, the uh, private gender clinic. But no, not yet. It's going to be a little while longer. So anyway, that's the latest update. I'll get back to you as soon as there's uh, any more of an update. So see you soon. Take care. Bye.